Welcome to Blueprint IoT. In this video, we will check out how to record a screen on a Raspberry Pi. I'm currently on a Raspberry Pi 4B, so the latest version of the Raspberry Pi, and I'm running Raspberry Pi OS, so that's basically a Linux distribution. So this could be done on any Pi, basically. No matter if it's the Zero or the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or whatever Pi you're using, except, of course, the microcontroller. Raspberry Pi Pico. Anyway, let's check out how to get started. To install the simple screen recorder, which is the one that I opted for, you just type in sudo apt install simple screen recorder, hit enter and there you go. Only a couple of seconds later without giving any other commands, you will end up with the installation finally done. So this will be the final command. Right after you installed it, you will find it in the Raspberry Pi menu under sound and video. And here you can just hit and start simple screen recorder. From there on, you have a bunch of customization going on here. You can select which screen you want to record, even showcasing you very nicely which screen you're on right now here in the upper left corner. And also you can select the frame rate frames per second, you can opt in or out the recording of the cursor itself and the recording of the audio, which I opted out since I'm recording audio on a different device right now. So let's hit continue and there you go. You can select the file path and you can also select the file format. You can go for some standard ones, but you can also hit other and there you have a whole bunch of different formats. I really don't know all of them, barely all of them. I know this one, but and a bunch of others, but um, actually I tried it out and it wasn't working that well once it just recorded a black screen. So I don't know if you should go with the others and I'm just going with MKV. So that's working perfectly fine for me. And about the encoding, you can also select which one you want to go. I go with H264, which is basically all the default settings and I check boxed allow frame skipping. So this should also result in a better file size at all. And very nice, what I really like, as soon as you hover across any of those options, you always get a little explanation of what's going on and what's the background of hitting this checkbox or drop down menu or not. So once that's done, you can hit continue and there you go. You can start your recording, which I obviously done already. So let's check out the ongoing recording, which is this one. We can see we're already four minutes into the recording. We can see the frames per second and we can see the size of our screen, the file name. And most important, I think, is the file size, which is 21 MB right now. So here I can pause recording and then later save it and I will find it in the videos folder. But before we end this video, let's check out the task manager and check out the CPU usage, which is at 70% right now. And you can see the simple screen recorder is eating roughly 50% of my CPU. And that's already on the Raspberry Pi 4. So that's already coming with this crazy powerful CPU unit. And so I won't imagine how this should work on a Raspberry Pi 3B plus or even a Raspberry Pi Zero. It will probably eat up all your CPU memory rise. I think that's quite good. 600 megabyte used right now. And I checked out also the one of the other applications. And you can see here I installed Voku screen already. There I was more around 800 MB for the memory usage. So I think that's already quite good. And one plus, since you can opt in and out everything and select frame rate and everything around this, you can pretty decently adjust the CPU usage. Always a trade off between quality and performance. So that's basically already everything about screen recording of on a Raspberry Pi. There are a bunch of different applications out there. I tried personally the Roku screen and the simple screen recorder, and I was much more happy with the simple screen recorder, but there are also a bunch of different ones. I will link down a blog post where you'll find different selections of screen recorders for the Raspberry Pi. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to be subscribed for more content about 
a Raspberry Pi, Node-RED, IoT and everything around those topics. So see you next time.